Second game of the quarterfinals happening now in Colorado. The Mountaineers will take on the Vampires. Vampires won their wild card game against the Raptors and now face the Mountaineers in this quarterfinals game. Yeah, the standings, the Vampires missed out on the Central Division win. It was a loss against the Cattlemen. And uh, Mountaineers snuck in a victory. Their offense doing amazing. 458 points for. If only their defense was a bit better. They'd be one of the best teams in the league. <clears throat> Still, that's like third. Oh, they're tied for uh, second in most points uh, scored. That's insane. Just crazy. Uh, checking out the team pages. Vampires won their last game in the playoffs, but they lost against the Cattlemen. They lose the Central Division win. Uh, moving on to the Mountaineers there. Never remember where they are on the board. They're on a four-win streak at the end of the season. This is the first playoff game. Yeah, scoring 458 points, but only winning eight games, losing six. I think it's really because of their point differential. Their defense hasn't been holding many people. Is that one of the worst points against in the league? Uh, it's not great. <laughs> it's not the worst. Bears definitely have that one, but uh, it's one of the it's one of the worst ones. They didn't get above 400, so that's good. But it'll be interesting to see how they do against the Vampire's offense. And let's see how it goes. Off to Boulder, Colorado. Here we go. Vampires kicking off to the Mountaineers to start the game. Oh, just misses the crossbar. Oh, it's a 50-50% tie on the poll. Asked who are you rooting for, the Mountaineers and the Vampires, and it's currently 50-50, so that's exciting. <laughs> All right, second and four. I didn't see that play. I think it was a run from Loveless. Newman leading the offense the Mountaineers, and he's uh, passing plenty of time. Short pass to Loveless. I think he got it. He did. Grab the first down. This drive alive, first in 10 yet again. Newman the pass. Wide open is Valenti, and this is what the Vampires need to worry about, is this great passing game from the Mountaineers. And their uh, secret weapon, Loveless, who can uh, run the ball like nobody's business. Offense is very effective. Good pass to Loveless. Holds on to it after the big hit. For six yards. Ready, break. Right, one, two. Right, one, two. We've been passing again. Plenty of time. This O line for the Mountaineers. Doing great work with Van Burnham with a great catch for an early touchdown in this game. Mountaineers very effective on offense so far. Good extra point. Oh, it's seven to zero. I don't believe the Mountaineers have. Actually, I don't think the Mountaineers or. No, that's not true. One of these teams had to have gone against the Wolves. Okay, the Mountaineers have faced the Wolves before, and they lost thirty-four to twenty-four. But that was in Week Five when this game was completely different. So. I think it's uh, anyone's guess as to who will win that game. Brian with a good deflection there. Vampires have not faced the Wolves yet. Second and ten. And off to Oliver. Plenty of room. Brought down for 22 yards on that run. First and ten. Butler with the run, he's wide open, 55, running him down, 26 yards on the run, two explosive runs after another. Ready, break. Oliver breaking a tackle, but just getting back to the line of scrimmage. And 
the last game, the Vampires almost lost because of three fumbles from Hunter. I think he's been instructed this game to not run the ball anymore. So, couldn't be seeing that again, but an incomplete pass there. He's 0 for 2 today already. Just gonna come back from that. Hunter with a screen pass to Butler. Easy completion there, but not enough for the first, and it's fourth down. Ready, break. Settling for the field goal, Grant to kick. He's got a great leg. And it was straight. Easy 38 yard kick, not too far of a kick. Those are words. And uh, back to the Mountaineers. Off the, <laughs> off the post. You'd love to see it. To reward bonus points for that. Anyways, second drive for the Mountaineers happening now. A minute and 30 left in the quarter, and a huge hit from Vernon Miles to keep the ball out of the hands of uh, is that Valenti? We don't know. But it's incompletion. Second and ten. Here's Loveless. You see the tackle. Great dodge there. <laughs> Wonderful sidestep. Step 12. And the first. They have a 7 mile per hour wind against them. I don't think that affects passing. This is if I get a great pass to Van Buren. 20 in the first. Confirmation. And off to Loveless. Great juke there. 12. And another first. The Mountaineers are being very good on this drive. Very steady. Moving the ball forward. Getting deep into Vampire's territory. Newman to pass. Oh, good pass to Barbie, but he can't hold on to it. Vernon Miles again. Knocking the ball away with that hit. Shotgun yet again. Newman with the handoff to Valenti. Nowhere to go and a huge hit from Goodwin. He holds on to it. Third and 13 now. Wins with them now. 13 miles per hour with them. The wind's a bit unpredictable right now. Loveless running it. A third and long situation. Not sure about that play call. End of the first. And the Mountaineers might have to kick this one Ready for a field goal. Right. And they will. Like a 35. Ooh. Oh, 45. Yard kick. It was good. So a field goal answer for the Vampires field goal. And now the Vampires get to go yet again. Second drive for them. Ready, the wind is flip-flopping back and forth <laughs> quite aggressively. And off to Oliver. Two. Ready, break. Yeah. The three is Hunter. See if he passes it or if he's handing it off. He's going to pass it. Getting... Oh, no. Fumbled. 92 recovers and the touchdown. Vampire's O-line just collapsed. And uh, Hunter tried to get away, but couldn't and drop the ball on the hit. He drops the ball a lot. Almost blocked there, but Caldwell gets the extra point, and just like that, 17-3. Fumbles have just destroyed the Vampires. They were doing very well. And when fumbles became a thing, they have struggled quite a bit. But here's Hunter to pass. Shallow pass. Another missed pass. Hugo Bryan knocks the ball away. Austin receivers struggling to hold on to the ball after these huge hits. Oliver breaking a tackle, but no gain. Belts with the stop. Third and 
Another pass. He almost got sacked again. Great pass to Doyle for 14. Keeps this drive alive. Three and a half minutes left to go. Another pass again. Butler. Good catch and another first. Vampires now moving the ball pretty efficiently. Getting a first down after a first down. Ball straight on the 50. Good pass to Butler. That was dangerous. There was two other defenders there. A very good medium pass for 17 yards. And another first down. Good pass to Doyle up the middle. Up the middle is a very popular target for uh, for Hunter. Ready, break. Now within the red zone, handoff to Oliver. Good spin move. He can't quite get to the end zone. Another first down. Vampires moving the ball quickly. Let's see if they can actually get into the end zone now. Ball on the three. Hunter to pass. Good catch from Coleman, the fullback. Enough for the touchdown. Just barely misses it. Just barely. Look at that scrimmage on the zero, basically. And Oliver's going to walk it in. Takes a big hit, but gets the touchdown. Extra point to make it a seven point ball game. Keeping the Vampires in it. Now the Mountaineers will have a minute and a half to score before the half. They will be getting the ball back, so they can score and get the ball back. This game is going to be very tough for the Vampires to come back with. And off the post. So extra point awarded. <laughs> It's a joke. Handoff. Oh, to Valenti. Absolutely destroyed by Goodwin. That happened last time when they ran this play. Maybe they should uh, cool it on that play and uh, get Valenti's health in order. The Whitaker knocks it out. Huge hit from Terrell King. First deflection of the day. Ready, break. Now it's third and 13. The Vampires holding them very well. 0 for 1 on third down conversions. Oh, good deflection there from the Vampires. Edwin Green to hold them. A very short drive. They're going to have to punt this one. So Austin's defense really coming out here. Putting in the work. Minutes to go. Vampire scoring here would be very good for the second half. Going to equalize Hunter. A good throw in traffic to Doyle and the first. That was like five defenders there. He sneaks it in. Vampire's calling the timeout. Not quite into Colorado territory just yet. Hunter to pass again. Running out of time. It's the pass off to Coleman. First down, and I'm sure another timeout called. Yes. Ready, They're fight. doing it. They're actually calling timeouts. Hunter. Hand off to Hart. I'm not so sure about that play. For one yard. Ready, fight. See if they can do what the Dicers did. And sneak it in just before... The half is over, but a bad run from Oliver, Isaac Roy, with the stop. And that is the last timeout from the Vampires. Third and 11. Hunter, good pass to Hart, but not enough for the first, so it's fourth and six. Either they can go for a field goal. They can be more risky and go for it, but they're going to settle for the field goal, at least getting some points. Big kick there, and it's good. 51-yard kick from Grant. I did not know it was that long. <laughs> and that's the half, so 13 to 17. Into the, at the end of the first half. 
Austin having a better offense, 156 yards versus Colorado's 117 yards. Newman throwing a few bombs in the very beginning, but then slowing down toward the end. He's 5-9 and nine at one touchdown. Oliver getting about the same amount of yards as Loveless, but in three more rushes than Loveless for seven. Did pick up a touchdown. And just one sack for the Mountaineers. So anything. Uh, anyways, uh, with that, let's get into the second half. Sun has set it here in Boulder, Colorado. Nice clear night. And the vampires will get it back. Wait. Oh, I was wrong. Home team gets the ball first. But then that's great for the vampires to score. To get the ball back. I was wrong. <laughs> so vampires scoring the field goal and getting the ball back. Puts them in really good position. Pass to Butler, but knocked away. Andrew Wong getting the deflection. Ready, Second and ten. Run from Hart. Seven yards up the middle. Third and three now. Ready, break. One for three on third down conversions. 33.33 repeating percent chance of getting this one and they get it pass to Coleman for 17 yards well past the first down marker Ready, break. And now, oh, just outside of Colorado territory run to Oliver good spin move there picking up six Oliver is not the best running back in the league but he's definitely effective when he can be and they actually go to him. Hunter elects to pass to Hart for a nice 10 and a first. Ready, break. Oliver. Another spin move. Deja vu. Seven yards. Vampires are the best. Yes. <laughs> uh, Hunter to Oliver again. A spin move. Deja vu. The sequel. Six yards on the run in the first. Vampires liking that play. I will not go to that one again, though. Hunter to pass. A deep one, but a great deflection there from Austin Marsh. Huge play there. Keeping the ball out of the end zone. It wouldn't have necessarily been a touchdown, but it was looking good. Butler with a shallow pass for three yards. Austin really relying on the passing game so far. In the second half, it feels like. Hunter again. Good pass selection, but deflected again by Austin Marsh. Doing work on these sets of downs. Keeping the Vampires to a field goal. Looks good to me. Now it's a one point ball game. Vampires just trying to keep the game alive. Their chances of a championship alive. Brawling their way back. Try to equalize this game 16 to 17. Two minutes left in the third. And Newman to pass. Whitaker holds onto it after the one-handed catch. Just a yard short now. Ready, break. Second and one. Newman reflected there from the Vampires. Vernon Miles. There now it's third and one. Ready, break. I suspect they're gonna run it in. With the vampires expect that too. There's Loveless. Can't get over the line. And that's a massive stop. Rex Goodwin. Ready, break. Forces the fourth down and they're going to punt. 
Massive play here for the Vampires. Short return. Here we go. Ball into 24. They have a ways to go. The Mountaineers can stop them, Hunter. Good pass to Oliver, just five yards. Ready, break. Third quarter almost over. That's a run from Oliver. Good block there from the fullback. Collins? Collins is the fullback. I'm not actually Ready, sure. That's a good block there, allowing Oliver to pick up four. Third and one. Oliver with a run up the middle. Colorado was not expecting that at all. They went into a deep coverage. Left it wide open for Oliver up the middle. Another set of downs. Ten seconds left to go in the third. Oliver destroyed by Clifton Lane. Four-yard loss. Thankfully, no fumble. That was the biased announcer or commentator. <laughs> Last play of the third. Nowhere to go. Hunter sacked. Sammy Barnett. Barnett. Could have been much worse. Hopefully it wasn't. Fourth quarter. Last one of the game. A very long third down here. They're going to screen it to Butler. That's for four, and they're going to have to feel, uh, hunt this one. Ready, break. A very shallow punt. I'm sure about that one, but now it's first in ten. New drive for the Mountaineers. Oh, bad pass there from Newman. 84 was just sitting there waiting for it. Is that Valenti? Waiting for it. Why were near him? <laughs> Newman. Hands it off to Valenti. Valenti's nice. Uh, 89. Wilburn, who's uh, 84. I need to know. <laughs> third and 10. There's 0% on third down conversions. Will that change? It will not. Barbie. A good catch. Three yards shy of the first. And another punt. These defenses are really coming out here in the second half. No points have been scored in the second half. These uh, defenses Ready, doing work. Right. Vampires starting their drive with a run from Oliver. Not a great result, but moves for Ready, line of scratch. Second and eight. Another run, Oliver. That is a first down. Good play there, taking advantage. The Mountaineers looking for the pass. Not expecting that one at all. Might not be expecting this run either. Oh, that's a huge blitz. Good throw to Oliver. Two to beat. It's taken down. 34 yards on the catch. What a play there. Fake a run. Get everyone to blitz and then throw it right over them to Oliver. Huge play. Oliver again. Key person on this drive. Second and two. Just inside the red zone. Oliver. Oh. Tries to juke. But Phelps grabbing his ankles and pulling him down. Third five. With a screen to Butler. Just a yard, and that's not enough for the first fourth. Down and four. They're going for it here. Oh, don't know about this one. Oliver! <laughs> he doesn't get it. Simpson with the stop. And the turnover. Not going for the field goal and grabbing the lead there might cost them the game. And a huge pass to Valenti. 
Oh, it's not looking good now. 35 yards on the catch. They might be in Austin territory now. I'm not entirely sure. They are. I don't think quite in field goal range yet. It doesn't really matter. They just need to waste the clock now. Austin not calling their timeouts. Newman to pass. An interception here would be huge. But they knock the ball away out of Loveless's hands. Terrell King getting the deflection. And this third one. 44 seconds left. So 0 for 4 on third down conversions. Huge blitz, but they get the catch. Barbie, 10 yards in the first. It's going to have to be a miracle at this point, especially since the Vampires aren't calling timeouts. Newman alone. Wide open as Valenti. Spin move there for 20 yards. And I'm thinking this is the ball game here. Vampires missing out. On the semifinals, they're going to kick a field goal, rub it in. Almost blocked, but it's good. Caldwell with the kick. And that is the game. Vampires are eliminated. <laughs> no timeouts called. So we'll probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're very inconsistent with timeout calling. It's unfortunate. Vampires eliminated from the playoffs. The Mountaineers move on to face the Wolves. Which is going to be a very interesting game, especially after their last meetup in week five where they lost by 10 points. So much has changed since then. It's going to be very interesting to see how they stack up. 285 total offensive yards from the Vampires. They really had a great offense, but they couldn't convert those to points. And I guess in the grand scheme of things, if they got that field goal, Mountaineers would have gotten their field goal, possibly. And still won, but should have just kicked the field goal anyways. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm bitter. Hunter, 16 out of 22. Pretty good day for him. 168 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, he did fumble the ball once. And that might actually have cost them the game. Um, Butler with the most receptions, 40 yards. No touchdowns from any receivers. Oliver, 18 rushes, 83 yards, and the touchdown. Looking at the Mountaineers, 11 for 18 was Newman, 177 yards and one touchdown. He's really good at getting those long passes in. For a lot of yards, but his completion percentage has uh, some work to be done. Loveless only getting five rushes for 32 yards. The receptions are were very well balanced. Uh, Valenti got one extra and 92 yards. Van Buren getting the touchdown. No sacks from the Vampires. Three deflections from Miles. Two for King and one for Green. Down there's two sacks of Barrett's or Barnett's and Phelps one apiece and Barnett a touchdown but off the uh, that, oh yeah that must have been off the, the fumble Grant 3 for 3 two 30 yard field goals and 150 plus at 51 yards one extra point one punt from Ross three punts from Diaz two for two was called well 45 yards long and two extra points. And just like that, Vampires are out of the playoffs. Mountaineers and Wolves will happen next weekend. And whoever wins that will move on to the first ever Solitude Bowl. Should be a good one. <laughs>